My name is Reza Moreno. I am a junior, journalism major, business minor from California. I had work from 6 to 8, no, 6 to 10 at TJ Maxx, right on Utopia. Um, I worked there as part time. I was a cash register cashier. Very stressful. I need money and it's close and it's not that bad of a commute or walk, I should say. And it's how I live every week with my little spontaneous funds, but my parents do not pay for me. So that's how I go about living here in New York. So on Friday, I had Italian too. It's at 3.15 to 5. Um, it was in Marilac. I took Italian 1 over the summer. I took the Discovery Road for a month, which was really fun. Didn't know that I should have taken Italian 2 last semester instead of this semester because I forgot everything. I am president, or almost going to be former president of Habitat Humanity, the organization on campus. And I through the annual Carpenters Ball, which is an end of the year um, charity event slash awards night, and we announced the new e-board, and I felt really happy that we were able to fill it up as much as we can, especially on St. Patrick's Day, where people have other priorities. We ask you to continue to bless us, bless our service. We also ask you to open our minds and our hearts to continue to listen. Really nice because last year I was presented as a new president, and this year I got to give up that and give my role over to someone else. So, being part of Habitat, that's why I said I would like to be part of a nonprofit because I think being around something like a nonprofit for so long made me realize it does have an impact. We try to advocate affordable housing before someone becomes homeless and loses their home. Um, so we have a chapter here in St. John's. Well, on top of being president of Habitat, I am the features editor for The Torch, which is the independent newspaper on campus. If you haven't seen it, you should pick it up. It's in DAC. It's everywhere. It's really nice to get an experience on how newspapers ran. Um, even though I want to work with magazines, publications, I think working with newspapers is the best bet. Even though people think it's print is dying, it's still cool to pick one up and see yourself in it. I am also the social media director for Earth Club, which obviously if you think Earth Club has to do with anything eco-friendly. So my blog is called that's because recently I worked with a Montreal French um, designer called Marie Saint Pierre. They collaborated. Um, I actually ran across their only and first U.S. boutique in Miami when I was there two weeks ago and I was able to pick up samples. So out of the four samples, two of them I shot this past Saturday in the rain and snow with a great photographer I met on so I can use this as a platform and a portfolio to help me gain access into a magazine when I'm ready for a job. If this doesn't give me the job I want or blow up into the job I want, which could be a full-time blogger. I actually got invited to New York City's Influencers Night Out. Um, it was held at a restaurant that just opened up called Jasmine, and there was a contest, there was karaoke, and I saw some of my other friends that are bloggers and friends from school um, that people don't know about, but my school is heavily talented, um, heavily big on talented bloggers. Um, and it was just really nice to meet other people and connect with them on a different level. And the food wasn't so bad either. For a restaurant just that just opened up. I hope for it to go bigger in the next coming years, especially since it hasn't even been a year for the new brand. So I think I came a long way since my new brand has started, which was last summer. So this summer will be the first anniversary. How I am friends.
friends with Earth Club President Chris Herb, and she was um, chosen as a speaker representing Earth Club um, St. John's uh, for the Queen's chapter of the UN um, for an event that they hosted um, for Earth Day. I came to support, it was at the Queen's Museum in Corona, and it was really interesting and exciting to see her. She was able to talk amongst the crowd and share these experiences and to help change the world. Powerful to see someone who came so far. I can't spare myself too thin. Having a job and having a blog and still wanting to watch films. should enjoy myself for finals before I get my um, before I start my internship at the New York Daily News over the summer which will probably take a lot of energy. I guess one thing I had more as an idea growing up as a child was more of a movie like you know walk down the street with cobblestone and go into a coffee shop and read a book or go on my laptop. Um, that I can't do so much because I live in Queens. I'm not. I'm kind of tired of commuting to the city because um, I do it a lot on the weekends. So maybe one day I'll actually be in the city or in Brooklyn. And I can just go read a book in a coffee shop. But like that's just a theatrical version. I think I am um, bigger and better than what I would have thought I would be at 21, at a younger age. And I am neat in New York, which is one of the top um, dreams I've had growing up. So that's, I, I made it, I feel like, and I went to Europe, like I've always wanted to. Um, and I, I think that's just a few of the things that I've always wanted to do growing up. And I think a lot of children want to do when they grow up is to go somewhere else, to see something else, to be something else for a little bit. no matter where it is.